And in the Message Bible, the king's response is, he summoned the man and said, you evil servant, for I forgive your entire debt when you begged me for mercy. Shouldn't you be compelled to be merciful to your fellow servant who asked for mercy? The king was furious and put the screws to the man until he paid back his entire debt. And that's exactly what my Father in heaven is going to do to each one of you who does not forgive unconditionally anyone who asks for mercy. Yeah, God's going to put the screws to you. (laughs) Most translations, other translations say that he will turn you over to the tormentors. That seems like a big deal, doesn't it? That God's going to turn you over to the tormentors. Now, for me, I always thought, well, that's like being thrown in like the Lord of the Rings, like thrown in that place where all the orcs live, you know? (laughs) I'm going to throw you in there. There. But, you know, think about it for a minute. I mean, how many, without raising your hand, without raising your hand, without exposing yourself, how many of you have walked in unforgiveness? Don't raise your hand. See, there you go. There you go. (laughs) Right. We've walked in unforgiveness. And who's been thrown in with the orcs? Yeah, you know, orcs are, you know, no. No, it wasn't orc, Phil. It was more like, I don't know, like a steady drip of toxin in my life. It was like a poison drip that saturates not just my mind and not just my spirit, but my body. Do you realize about 80% of the people in hospitals are there because of anxiety-related illnesses? See, do you understand that the tormentors aren't the orcs? They're your partnership with the spirit of fear and anxiety and punishment. It, you know, it, it's, it's as though you, you, you reach over and you take a drink and the Lord has turned you over to water. You're like, the Lord turned me over to that? And well, actually, if you hadn't have drank it, you wouldn't be there. It wouldn't be in there. But you know what? That judgment, that fear, that punishment is going to have its intended effect on you, on your relationships, on your health, on your finances, on situations. Just, it's just amazing. See, working with people who, who, who are finally ready to deal with their stuff, they, they come to you, and do you know what 99% of inner healing work starts with? Who do you need to forgive? Okay, who do you need to forgive? Oh, I can't think of anybody. All right, let's ask the Lord. Okay, everybody, everybody I got to forgive. How did, I, how did that happen? I didn't even know I needed to forgive everybody I ever met. <laughs> 